Well, guys, the news has broke. For those who've not been following along, Sorg dropped some pretty hefty news on everyone in the geobreaking community today. Now, to give it to you straight, it sounds like Sorg, the developer of Cydia and Substrate, has left the jailbreaking community for good this time, meaning Substrate for A12 devices is not going to be coming anytime soon. Due to harassment from the jailbreak community, from both users and developers, Sorg has come to terms that jailbreaking is just not as fun or as meaningful to him as it once was. Now, he furthermore is very busy with his day job and just no longer has time or, like I said, the passion to maintain substrate. Due to the toxicity of the community and false hope that has been spread recently, the overwhelming amount of backlash against Sork, all of this caused him to release a major statement publicly on Twitter. So today, we're sad to say goodbye to one of the greats and original jailbreakers in the community. We say thank you for all the hard work you've done over a decade, Sork. We're understanding of your situation and realize, guys, he's just a human. He has his own life, one that is not centered around jailbreaking. So once more, thank you so much, Sork, for everything you've done. We here at I Crack Your Eye Device are forever grateful, regardless of what some think or say. Now, it's really hard to do this, but moving past this news... We also remain hopeful for the new updates pertaining to the A12 jailbreak scene, one with substitute or another method of tweak injection, as yes, even with this devastating blow, guys, there is still hope. So with that being said, I wanted to simply read you guys some of the posts that Sorg stated so everyone has a chance to see this, and at the end of this video, I will discuss the new current status of the A12 jailbreak. So early this morning, around 5am, Sorg tweeted out these following tweets. Due to a largely unrelated conversation I had last week, I actually looked at my Twitter notifications. What I saw, a large number of spectators arguing in language foul enough that the Twitter app had to give me a may contain offensive content warning. He did not promise anything to anyone, including Sam, who apparently is the only person he's been talking to this entire time. He did not say that he was going to finish A12 substrate as soon as possible. In fact, it was the opposite. He told him that he was very busy during his day job. So it continues to say, It maybe should be more clear that, while I was actively killing myself, stealing time and racking up stress to build a stable iOS 11 jailbreak for two or three months at the end of 2017 and beginning of 2018, he says he's finally quit in early 2018 due to developer toxicity. It was in this moment that I realized there's no benefit to any of this, only pain, and it requires me to constantly have to interact with people who are frankly horrible. So for the rest of 2018, when some people were waiting on him, he says he moved on with his life. He doesn't work on jailbreaking or substrate at all for over half a year, and he didn't even look at his Twitter or Reddit notifications. But in October of 2018, he says he was contacted by Sam, who he found reasonable. It sounds like with this agreement, Sam was going to deal with the end users while Sorik worked on updating Substrate, so he agreed. Honestly, I'm not too sure Substrate for iOS 11 was a healthy achievement. I still enjoy working on Impactor and have some major updates that I want to release, but it just doesn't seem possible anymore to have fun on Substrate. That being said, I'm quite proud of its stability. So, getting on to some of the A12 news. He says, so far I've only had a few days to work on A12 substrate, something I couldn't even start doing until a few weeks ago when I was given the first jailbreak build useful for testing with. I do not understand why anyone thinks I'm able to spend all of my time on this anymore. He says it's absolutely ludicrous to me that people are assuming that I would work on this at all, much less that I should already have it finished. He says, best case, I would never have expected to have this done by now as I honestly think this will be more than three weeks of work. And I'm guessing three weeks of work just strictly working on this. So even if Sorik was still going to work on this, it still would be quite a few months out. He says, even if I did release this, however, to be very frank about it, I find working on stuff for jailbreaking neither important as I used to for the large, stable, untethered jailbreaks with the goal of fighting copyright law, an era that is long over. He says he no longer finds working on jailbreaking neither important nor fun due to the horrible developer toxicity. He says if, yes, if I ever release A12 substrate, it will not only be because I found a good way to achieve the goal that I consider stable, 
but it will also be because I have, at least momentarily, come to enjoy the process of working on it again. In the meantime, he doesn't owe anyone anything. He really wished everyone would just forget about Cydia and move on with their lives. Anything would be better than dealing with all of this. Truly, jailbreaking should have stopped during the iOS 9 era, if not before. There's a reason, essentially, all of the reasonable developers left a long time ago, and the community is now runly large by a bunch of bullies. Everything we do now just digs jailbreaking into a deeper hole full of fail. So, there we have it, guys. Again, the short version is the A12 substrate is far from complete. It really hasn't been worked on in the slightest during the past few weeks. Sork furthermore has lost inspiration or motivation to continue his work. He notes that if he ever releases it, it'll be because he found a good way to fix it. And furthermore, that he has found fun doing jailbreak projects once again. So after all of this, again, I just have to say once more, thank you, Sork, for all of your hard work you've done for the jailbreaking community over this past decade. So where does that leave us now? Is the A12 jailbreak still being worked on, or is that entirely dead in the water too? Well, Pone had to say this about the situation. He says, I'm not in a race to release an A12 jailbreak with code injection. If I release it, it will be with substrate. However, I will still be working on a substitute implementation for code injection on A12, which may get released if I manage to fix the stability issues that come with it. He says, I do not believe that using substitute is a good idea at all, but I guess something is better than nothing. To be clear, I will still be working on uncover and code injection for A12. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Lastly, he says, my purpose is to deliver the best possible jailbreak experience. Names do not matter. I'll be working on improving substitute and its implementation. So, with all of this in place, it sounds like Pwn is still on the case, working on an A12 jailbreak, potentially one with Substitute. He's not giving up hope for a stable jailbreak, and neither should you guys. Today's news was a bit of a setback, but there still, in all likelihood, is going to be an A12 jailbreak, either from Pwn or Coolstar. Now, we've really yet to hear anything from Coolstar, but it's rumored that he too is working on an A12 jailbreak with Substitute. So, guys... We'll really have to wait and see what happens during the next few weeks as far as the A12 jailbreak scene goes. We here will surely keep you guys updated along the way. Thank you for watching this video and being incredible fans of jailbreaking. Please show your support with a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest breaking news. Let us know down below what you guys think of this situation and if you guys are going to miss Sorik as much as we will. Anyhow guys, thank you for watching this video and making it to the end. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. Very lastly, the last major update I wanted to talk about in this video is Pwn to Own just pushed an update to the Uncovered Jailbreak. Beta 51 has been released and is available for download and public beta testing. Now again, these updates are just further improving performance and stability. It looks like this update in particular is going to fix the icon cache issue when restoring the root file system i.e. the Cydia icon staying present on the home screen after restoring. It looks like that is going to be all patched up now, so the Cydia icon and all of the other jailbreak icons should be removed after un-jailbreaking. Anyway, at the time of recording this video, the on-device signing platforms are still down, their certificates are still being targeted and revoked, so to install this update, you're going to have to use the Cydia Impactor method on the computer. We did a video specifically on how to do this. I will link it in your cards now or down below in this video's description. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you guys real soon, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.